Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing one for the purists, Matty yeah. boy. Are we ever? We're in, uh, we're in testing the new Mira 502s. Uh, the replacement of the MC501, uh, which was released about, I think it was about four years ago. That long, in, is it? In and around yeah. that, three to four years ago, roughly. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the Mura don't release sort of lots of you know, wide range of clubs every year. Maybe they, they add a new line. Um, this year, they've, they've had a couple, interestingly enough. So the KM yep. uh, came out earlier in the year, which uh, young Mikey is That's instantly right. put in the bag. Yep. Um, but this is definitely one for the, the blade lovers out there. Yeah, it's a very, very good looking club. It came, and it came from an update from an already really good looking club. Yeah. But it, to me, looks visually like they've made some nice you know, improvements. Totally. To I mean, I think the 501, uh, Previous edition was was looked great in the bag and and um, you know really striking by its appearance. But then there were a few things that when you put it down, you realise mm. a bit more offset, uh, very kind of square in its lines. And it is very square. Yeah, very boxy, and and you kind of go, well, you know, there's some things you know that that you know you might not love about it. Mm -hmm. Everything I think it's yeah. fair to say has been addressed in the MC five hundred two. So number one, less offset yeah. across the board for the entire set. Face progression, um, you know, moving moving into that kind of more of a, uh, a s more seamless transition from hosel to leading edge. Looks great. Does look much. I'm much holding better. the four iron here, and it yeah, it has a little bit of offset, but you can't, you know, you don't want none. You so don't want none. Yeah, <laughs> most players don't want none. Yeah, yeah. but it's pleasing. Yeah. There's just a bit there. Looks That's, really good. Yeah. Uh, what do you think to the visual sort of rounding of the toe and the, the smoothing of the edges around it's, the club it's itself? It's better, yeah. I see what you mean, even address. This yeah. is very pointy in the toe, very, for very lack of a better term. Yeah. Um, but this one is a little bit more rounded. Just, uh, it just looks good. Totally, It's just totally. a good looking club at address. Yeah. And there's obviously still, I mean, the, the uh, MB101 still is in the line. So, yep. you know, if you want the, the sheer blade. But, you know, this one the, in, in the MC... Um, you know, would would come with a little bit more forgiveness than than the the MP one hundred one. But is that really all you're looking at? Just a yeah, little bit of perimeter rating moved bit, around, moving that weight around a little bit. Um, you know, putting the obviously the meat right behind the strike. Right. You know, enhancing those those vibe or, or really actually as you, you're kind of changing the vibration that gives you the different feel and sound. Gotcha. Um, so making it a little bit more dense behind the strike. And the soles are obviously vastly different. So really, mm -hmm. just kind of a very flat sole in the MC five hundred one. Yeah. It's Definitely got that camber, that Lots curve to it camber. now. It's very noticeable. Yeah. Which, I mean, it should be nicer divot taking, like a little bit smoother out of the turf for most people. Yeah, I mean, you, you talk about, or people talk about um, forgiveness in irons. And, and, you know, this doesn't have forgiveness in the same way that other clubs have forgiveness, but it yeah. has design characteristics that will provide forgiveness. Uh, you know, the, the Y sole, the, the sort of yeah, pre-worn lead edge. edge that's in there um, is, is gorgeous. The cambered sole, the, the movement of the mass, you know, and, and the, the trailers of the club. It's, it's not without any consideration towards design and forgiveness. Yeah, no, it's, it's very subtly done as well, which yeah, I think is nice. Definitely. I can see the owner of these maybe not wanting to upgrade, but maybe just thought, hey, these are almost my perfect iron. I know. Now this is their perfect it, it iron. It kind of has been made uh, the perfect iron. Yeah. One, one of the little kind of bonus balls with this one as well, for the those of you who play blades in the traditional loft setting, is the lofts are about a degree stronger than we would expect them to be. Yes, that's right. Right, so you've got the, the four iron there <coughs> right now, that's at 23 degrees. Yes. So, you know, I think 23, 26, 29 in the four, five, six, is about a degree stronger than we would maybe expect them to be. From this type of very small club, yeah, yep, I yep. agree. So if we went, you know, 24, 27, 30, you know, we actually lose even more offset. Um, mm, sure. So from that perspective, you can actually get it to the point where it's pretty much, and, I, and in, in my opinion, that's probably why they've done that. That's a good point. Someone can, uh, not seeking distance, obviously, yep. weaken them just a bit and then have you know, almost zero offset yeah. at that point. And it would seem to me like, you know, you've either got two choices, play them in their standard configuration and not lose as much distance as you would normally from a blade. Yep. Or go back to your traditional lofts and then you obviously get you know, mm. more of that look that the player who's going with the 502 is, is actually Looking seeking, yeah. uh, which is less offset. That's so smart, good, smart idea. It? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. So you're going to have a hit, um, pitching wedge, mm -hmm. seven iron and the four iron. I've got yes. it in my hand here. Yeah. Um, they are at the same lofts as your TC201. 
I mean, very, very. So it should be a similar experience, yeah, right? Yeah, and so like you know, the leading edge is very, very comparable to yeah. uh, to my 201. Just you can definitely see the camber more. Uh, more camber. noticeable in 502 and just a slightly bigger head in this one maybe Definitely. just an overall size yep. factor yeah i'm holding a six iron versus a four but yeah. um we'll see what the difference is in performance i mean you've totally. played a couple of years now with this tc mm -hmm. yep. Yep. so Into you know them year. well so you can you'll let us know what you think is is different about the experience of hitting these ones totally yeah all right okay so we'll start with some uh some wedges some wedges cool how does that wedge look at a dress oh handsome. handsome yeah i knew you're gonna say that <laughs> handsome yeah. I don't think there's a, a, been a better looking iron ever made its way into the TXG studio. Don't think so, eh? Don't think so. Yeah. I can't think of one. I mean, TC201 is my preference uh, in terms of the, the head shape because it has that little bit more forgiveness, that look to it. But Fair enough. Uh, I, I don't think if you just said you were going to hit everything good, what would you go for? You'd play those? Probably this. Yeah. 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 Because you are a, a pitching wedge connoisseur. I always joke with you. It, it has to look a certain way. It has way. to. I mean, you're, you're, there's no hiding place with a wedge. No. This is, this is perfect. Just perfect? This yeah. is perfect. Love it. Looks great behind the ball. Well, that's right out the toe, Matty. Boy. Was it? Right out the toe. <laughs> Almost went right in the hole. So you were, yeah, I mean, 15, I think that says 15 uh, millimeters toe. Yeah. Um, Generally speaking, you're, you're holding what is essentially a blade. Most people would look at that strike with a blade and go, you're screwed. But three yards down on what you expected, yeah. you still spun it's, the ball plenty. I it's mean, done that, well. That's done totally fine. It's done absolutely. I just, you're on the golf course, you wouldn't go tell your playing partners, oh, I towed it. Yeah, no, exactly. You wouldn't do that, yeah. Totally, totally. Yeah. No, that was, that was good. It managed the miss really nicely. That's good to see. Similar. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But again, same exact carry. Did fine. Better. It's all over it. Good strike out. Yeah. Yeah, that was better. Very nice. Right out of the middle of the blade, just a maybe a fraction thin. Yep. Yeah, that would be be fair. Always but think foresight does a. This is a bit Bad exaggerated. Job. I know you didn't <laughs> top it. Yeah. You could just hear maybe a fraction. It, thin, was, it was maybe a hair low in the blade, but coming much, much closer. My ball speed target on my wedge, Matty boy, is, uh, is 106. Okay. That's, so that's you're, my, you're close to I'm, it. I'm pretty close. Yep. Very similar to the last one. Was it, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Nice height to that yeah. ball. That looked like it carried a bit further. Yep. Yeah, better strike slightly, actually. I just catch them a little bit thin, but they're yeah. Oh, they're great. They're performing good. Yeah. Consistent. We it's always talk about that. We we hit blades. We want it to be really consistent. Yeah. If we look at, you know, the green is a lot bigger than this. So all yeah. those shots, a couple different strikes in there. You really kept it within. Mm -hmm. I would say, you know, mostly what 15 footers at most. Yep. Something like that. It was. It was. It was you'd be more than happy with the proximity that, that we were getting there and these deviations aren't very high so no. keeping the launch around the same spin was always around the same yardage was always around the same mm -hmm. nothing bad to say about it Why didn't I like that? Oh, the there she goes. delayed reaction. There she goes. See, that wasn't a bad one. I say it was a good strike. Yep, nice. Yeah, kind of similar in that, that slightly thin part of the head. Yeah, I mean, they're spinning for you quite nicely. It's, it's, that, that's quite a bit of spin mm -hmm. for the seven iron, obviously. Yeah. Face was very slightly open. Slightly open. That looks great. A nice one there. Consistent, isn't it? Very consistent. Yeah, yeah. You pretty much struck it in the same, but maybe a little bit more towards the middle. Spun up a little yeah. bit, a little bit more ball speed. You flew it a couple extra yards, but you're right. I mean, every shot has been, you know, within 20 feet of each other. That sounded great, bud. Nice strike there. Yeah, I mean, I just I feel like they're all pretty much coming out the same part of the head and. 
Like the results are even ridiculously just similar. So good. Even just slightly in the heel there. Slightly, yeah. Barely mattered. Almost the same ball speed as the last shot. Uh, I guess technically you swung 0.6 faster, but 172 on the carry. I think this is going to be the same story we saw with the pitching wedge. Yeah. Where you've got this little dispersion circle that's smaller than the green. And all your standard deviations mm. are, actually we have to go into the decimals. So same Starting ball speed, tight. same yeah. everything. Same yardage across the board. Yeah. That's what you want with a bit of forgiveness. I think it's smart. I mean, it's, it's kind of blade performance with, I don't know, a little sprinkling of forgiveness. Well, let's see the long iron. We got a four iron here. Okay. That made a great sound. That's probably the best one I've had today. It was a really flush sound of that. Hey, you got your carry that we yeah. kind of guessed around 205. 205-ish. We've got 207, which is nice. Mm -hmm. 4,000 spin with a four iron is no joke. A little thin, Matty. I was going to say, also nice, though. Quite nice, yeah. Again, you can see the distance regulating. It's not gone too far on the left side. That sounded mashed. Almost. I feel like I was a carbon copy the last one. Was it really? I feel like it, yeah. Sounded a bit better, but... Did it? Yeah. Certainly more online. No, you're right. Kind of a similar strike, maybe a little higher up the head. Just a shade. But it is crazy how that launch angle was almost the same as the last one. The spin's almost the same. Yeah. A little more efficient, which is, I guess, why you carried it. But it's only a yard further. That's really nice, too. Probably like shot one. Yeah, shot same one as shot four one. four felt very similar. Shot one and... Sorry, yeah, so two and three felt very similar. Shot one and four Yeah, felt very you similar. You can see right away. And the height on that ball versus the last couple. You got your launch up two degrees, so yeah. your 15 degree launch. Still retained all the spin. A little bit higher strike and more centered. Mm -hmm. But I think that's the highest ball speed you had so far with the forearm. Yeah, I think so as well. I mean, it, it's, it's got plenty. It's a blade. It's not helping you really with anything, and you're still getting 1.4 efficiency. Mm -hmm. Kind of the theme of the of the review is just crazy, crazy consistent. I mean, oddly enough, I, mean, I know you warmed into the session, but mm -hmm. oddly enough, you got more consistent in terms of these deviation numbers. Unreal. With the longer the iron got, you technically Unreal. were around one or zero with the foreign. Yeah. They all flew the same yardage. Yeah. And that's, again, this, that's just a bit smaller than the green, that dispersion circle. Totally. The height uh, was what? No, one was a bit low. Well, you're basically yeah. 100 feet. 98, 108, 10, uh, and 99. So that's pretty good. Your best struck ones were all over 100 feet. Right, yeah. So if you, if, if you got really picky with the data, you flew the foreign at 110 feet, which is, I mean, nothing to be upset about. Totally, with a blade, totally. that's for sure. Honestly, over, over the moon with, yeah. with kind of the performance uh, on, on all of those, I thought they felt fantastic. I'll have days where I probably, you know, strike them a little bit better than for I did sure. today. They felt okay today, but, you know, maybe that hair on the thin side with all of them. Um, it's but, good to see though. It's nice yeah. to see that it's playable. You don't have to be the absolute premium ball striker on earth no. to, to play them. And there was no like stingy fingers like that Nothing. horrible sensation you used to get when I used to kind of hit an iron, a blade slightly thin. It was like, oh, really just feel it up your, up your body. But no, not, not a, a bit of it with the Mura. That's why when a couple that you said once the ball had flown, you said they were a little thin, I had a hard time telling. Is that right? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they still sound very soft. Yeah. Which is good. I mean, that's yeah. what you're looking for. You want to know, totally. obviously you knew right away, Yeah. but you don't, as you said, you don't want ringing up your hands. That's, yeah. not, that's not an enjoyable experience for anybody. Well, I, I can safely say it's the, it's the most enjoyable blade I've ever tested. That's good. That's um, a high praise. You've definitely tested quite a few. Tested a few, yeah. yeah. But I think any time it comes with that M stamp, you, you know you're testing a Mura. I'm, I'm a Mura, Mura user myself yeah. with 201s. I won't be trading these for my 201s, that's for sure. I just Fair enough. There's that, you know, I think my iron is the opposite of this, right? So you've kind of got the, the sort of low toe and then it's kind of higher in the middle. So yes. changing that CG, pulling it up a little bit. Yep. Mine has the opposite, you know, where you have the notch out of the, the right. middle. Right, exactly. That's where I feel like, mine feel like there's lots of energy when I strike them. Mm. This feels like it's almost like a, a lack of energy. It's all on you. Totally, which, which the better ball strikers really want yes. they, they don't want they they produce the energy through great delivery characteristics 
somebody who leans the shaft forward more than me would love these. Uh, gotcha. um, I gotcha. I do better with TC201. It makes total sense. Totally. Yeah, and that's just a fitting totally. thing. One thing I was going to ask you, that cambered sole. Amazing. Do you think that's part of why I, you like them so much? I do. I, I yeah. really do. Is Especially in the... I felt like it more so in the seven and the four mm. when I got, you know, a hair shallower, so low point moved more towards the ball. Yes. I felt like I was really aware of the turf conditions or yeah. the, the strike conditions. Interaction, People yeah. laugh about the, you know, we've got kind of astro turf and we're talking about turf conditions, but you feel it when you've hit enough shots. Yeah. You, you're definitely, your feel can sense when it's grabbing and when it's not. Yeah, I could definitely tell that was getting kind of in and out really nicely for you, which is something you've talked about, you know, for years now. Yeah. You've always talked about that with, with different sets of irons. Totally, totally. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, well, guys, you can probably tell Ian's impressed. Uh, he's hit them all, so if, if you're impressed, then they're hmm. probably worth testing. Um, you probably go out and test a Titleist blade and a Mizuno yep. blade, and these are going to be a little bit more expensive. Yeah, there'll um, be a little, you know, you know, certainly maybe maybe six, seven hundred bucks more than than that sort total of price set. point. Yeah. But if you're willing, I guess, to kind of make that concession, spend a little bit more. I mean, as a as I was joking earlier, the sound off those is is pretty ridiculous. I don't think I've heard anything softer than that before. No, no, so it'd be fun to you know a pair up AVX and yeah, can you imagine? at some point and and just yeah. you know just like the lack of, of acoustic would be quite, would be, would be frightening. Phantom strikes. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> All good. right, very good. Um, let us know your comments, guys. Obviously this fits a very small demographic, but if you are in that demographic that's interested in blades, I would definitely give them a look. Definitely. Um, let us know if you've tried them. They just came out, so probably not too many people have had their hands on. I would say we might be one of the few who will even get the opportunity to test them. You mm -hmm. know, I know Big Al uh, does some testing with them. Uh, yeah, he's Mira. got a good relationship yep, with them. Yep, and he loves them as well. So, um, yeah, not, not many dealers that, that will be doing this type of testing. They're not, it's not a big box uh, line no. by any means. You're not going to find them really in Dick's or... PJ Superstore, you're going to find it with retailers like ourselves. When would you have these for demo? Soon? I believe they, they are in now, so I think okay. the demos actually came in with, uh, with, with the these. test set, so you can, okay. uh, you can test these at TXG. You now. can test them with us? Yeah. Very good. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.